Hi, hello and welcome to my channel Shimna Study Corner. Today we'll discuss a poem titled Dust of Snow in Standard 10 NCIT Textbook First Flight. If you are new to my channel, consider subscribing. Hit the bell icon to get notified as soon as a new video is uploaded. So let's move on. Dust of Snow by Robert Frost Robert Lee Frost was an American poet who was known for his realistic depictions of rural life and his command of American colloquial speech. Frost frequently wrote about the settings from rural life. He is the only poet to receive four Pulitzer Prizes for poetry. He was awarded the Congressional Gold Medal and was named Poet Laureate of Vermont. Now, let's read the poem. Dust of Snow by Robert Frost The way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day I had rued. From the very first reading, it's clear that the poem is pretty simple and short. Here, the meaning of the poem is very evident, but the poet tries to convey a very important message through this poem. Before moving on into the stanza-wise explanation, let's take a look into the setting of the poem. Right from the beginning of the first stanza, we get to imagine or we get to pictureize the setting in which the poem is. We can imagine an area covered with snow in which there is a tree which is also covered with snow. This is a tree under which our poet is at present. And on the tree, we can visualize a crow. Now, let's see the first stanza. The stanza goes like this. The way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree. So here in the first stanza, he is telling us about what the crow on the tree did. The way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree. So what has the crow done? The crow has shaken down the snow particles from the tree or from the branch of the tree onto the poet who was standing below the tree. There is one more point that we get to know from here. What kind of tree was the poet standing under? We get to know that it was a hemlock tree. Now, what is the peculiarity of a hemlock tree? It is a poisonous tree with small white flowers. So, poison or something poisonous is definitely not a pleasant image. We have usually seen poets mentioning about trees like oak, pine, maple, etc. in their poems because of their positive quality. But here, Robert Frost has used a poisonous tree in the place of beautiful trees. Same is the case with crow. Generally, poets use birds and trees which are known for their beauty and good qualities. Birds like peacock, parrot, cuckoo, mina, etc. are used usually in poems. But here, Frost has taken a totally different approach. He chose a crow which is not often used in poems. Crow is black in color with very harsh voice and is believed to be a symbol of bad omen. So, why has he made use of a crow and a hemlock tree which is not usually used in poem? Actually, he does this to convey to the readers that he was in a very bad mood. He was very depressed about something. So, crow and hemlock tree can represent his mood and feelings. Now, moving on to the action of the crow. What action has the crow done? It has shaken down the dust of snow onto the depressed poet. So what has happened after this snow particles has fallen on the poet? That is what we are discussing in the second stanza. So let's move on to the second stanza now. Has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day I had rued. The action of the crow has actually had a positive effect on him. It has given his heart, a change of mood. That means there was a change in mood for the poet once the snow particles fell on him. 
and actually because of that change of mood he actually saved a part of that day till then the poet was actually regretting that that day had happened he was unhappy about the day rude means to regret to regret about something the poet says that till then he couldn't use the time of the day productively he was so depressed that he couldn't do anything useful and thus he had wasted a part of the day but he is happy that the crow's action has changed his mood and he could use the remaining part of the day for something productive that is why he says saved some part of the day i had rued he had wasted the day regretting about something but now the action of the crow has changed his mood and thus he could use the time productively so in this poem the poet wants to convey that even slight things can change your mind here the small things that changed his mind was a crow and a few particles of dust so he says that we should never ignore small things which happen in our life because sometimes they may help you a lot so this is a central idea of the poem with that we have come to an end of the interpretation of the poem now let's see what are the literary devices used in the poem first and foremost let's see what the rhyme scheme of the poem is the poem follows a rhyme scheme of a b a b c d c d so this is the rhyme scheme of the poem a b a b c d c d the next poetic device used in the poem is alliteration alliteration is the occurrence of the same letter or sound at the beginning of adjacent or closely connected words so rhyme scheme and alliteration are the poetic devices used in this poem with this we wind up today's video i hope all of you have benefited from this video for more videos subscribe my channel shimna study corner like share and let me know of your valuable comments below thank you for watching see you in the next video bye